Need an extra set of wheels? No problem. This is the fastest snow bike in the world, and this bad boy can climb the steepest of hills. Let's talk about some of the most insane all-terrain vehicles that will leave you in utter awe. The Toyo Ferret has an extra set of wheels that gives it a unique advantage. During normal driving conditions, the Ferret only uses four wheels, but when it's time to get through some rocky terrain, then the middle two tires also come into play. These extra wheels are powered by hydraulic motors and can be moved up and down from the cockpit. Plus, they've also got special shock absorbers that keep them planted on the ground at all times. So if you're crossing a rock, at least one set of wheels will always remain grounded for traction, making it virtually impossible to get stuck. This Suzuki GSX-R snow bike is the most powerful snow bike ever made. At the center of it all is a Suzuki bike that's won countless races in the MotoGP Championship. But that's about the only thing that's standard about it, as the wheels have been swapped out for a ski and a dual track. There's a custom suspension and a very long tail for maximum traction on the snow. And when paired with that 10,000cc engine, this bike can push out an astonishing 170 horsepower, making it the fastest snow bike in the world. In fact, it's so powerful that it doesn't even need any snow to drive, so if you rev it on a normal road, it'll fly off in the blink of an eye. The Sherp the Arc is the most versatile all-terrain vehicle in the world. At its core, the Sherp is a truckhead unit dragging a trailer along with it, and at full load, it can carry over 7,000 pounds of cargo, which is more than enough to pack a full-sized pickup truck inside. Its actual use, though, is to transport people, whether that's for rescue or research in remote locations. Also, not only do the wheels rotate independently, but the head unit can also rise and rotate to climb through tricky rocks. What's more, the tires can be inflated and deflated on the go as well, depending on the terrain type. Plus, with different model trailers built for all sorts of emergencies, this thing can pretty much deal with every situation. This insane ATV known as the Atlas can literally drive through the ocean. Despite its chunky design, the Atlas can drive on snow, sand, dirt, or even water, and it does all that without needing any extra attachments. Its air suspension paired with a low center of gravity make this super versatile on all sorts of terrain. Plus, with the ability to steer both sets of tires individually, you can get out of sticky situations with ease. On land, it can drive over 35 miles per hour, which is about the same as your average speed limit and insanely fast for a truck of this size. And even in water, it can drive at almost four miles per hour without an extra motor propelling it forward. Besides, with a 12-person capacity and ample space for a stretcher, it can also be used as an emergency medical vehicle. The Rokon Trailbreaker is an all-terrain bike that's actually used by the US military. It may look like an old bike from the 1970s, but in reality, nothing comes close to it for covering harsh terrain. For instance, it has massive tractor tires that not only make it stable, but also give it traction in tricky conditions like mud or snow. Plus, it's also dual-wheel drive, meaning that it packs a serious punch. In fact, it's so powerful that it can tow a 2,000-pound hatchback car with it. What's more, it's got extra compartments for fuel and water too. That said, the real magic lies in its climbing abilities, because with massive ground clearance and a powerful engine, it can surmount the steepest of hills. This crawler buggy called the Rock Dog uses actual mechanical legs to get around. It's a custom-made vehicle that can lift each individual wheel higher than its own body, and it does that while keeping the rest of the three wheels on the ground. There are hydraulic actuators and electric motors attached to each leg that make it move up and down. So not only can it climb up massive rocks or ledges like a spider, but it can also sulk down into an almost low-profile form for maximum speed. Or if you want to skip through hurdles on the ground, it can lift the entire body seven feet up in the air as well. If you're in need of a tiny motorbike that can climb up mountains, the Hamyak ATV has got you covered. Referred to as the Hamster in English, the Hamyak is a monotracked motorcycle that can traverse even the harshest of terrains. Not only does it weigh less than the average person, but it's also small enough to fit inside the trunk of most cars. While it may only have a 150cc moped engine, its compact size means that it can still reach top speeds of almost 30 miles per hour, which is very fast for something with a tank track. Speaking of the track though, there's no steering here because you need wheels for that. Instead, it turns with the weight of the rider, kind of like a skateboard. The Belaz 75710 is the largest haul truck in the entire world. 
Its tires alone are taller than a single story house, and the truck itself is so big that there are actual stair systems and control rooms built right into it. Also, with a fully loaded weight of around 800 tons, it's about five times as heavy as the Statue of Liberty. But despite its enormous size, it can still break through the average speed limit and go up to 40 miles. And that's because it's powered by two 65 litre engines that push out a combined 4,600 horsepower. For context, the average sports car has a 4 litre engine that gives about 400 horsepower, so it's literally over 10 times more powerful. Who said going off-road meant you have to sacrifice on comforts? Well, you don't. At least not with the Ripsaw Luxury Tank. While it may share its design with other Ripsaw tanks that are made for combat, the EV2 is made purely for civilian use. It's fully customizable and has a pretty cozy interior with two seats. The real head-turner, though, is its traversal capability, because it can pretty much go through any harsh terrain with ease. So whether you're sliding on snow or crawling through deep mud, this thing's not going to budge. What's more, it does all that at some super insane speeds, as it can easily exceed the 60 miles per hour highway speed limit. As a matter of fact, it's so nimble and fast that it can literally jump over ramps and fly over obstacles with ease. The Chainlink Extreme is a 4x4 that can climb the steepest of hills. Most rock climbers measure their wheel movement in inches, this, on the other hand, measures it in feet. It's got a special suspension that allows it to lift a front tyre over seven feet in the air while all the others are on the ground. For reference, that's about as tall as your average basketball player. Not only that, but the wheels can also spread apart or tuck themselves in depending on the terrain. Oh, and if you push it against a wall, then it'll start climbing that as well. The most fascinating thing about it, though, is the fact that it does all of this without having to make any manual adjustments. This is an actual armchair that's got tank tracks attached to it. It's a big leather seat attached to a big motor, which then feeds power to the tank tracks on either side. The entire frame is made out of solid metal, meaning that it's not going to budge, and it's steered using two handlebars at the front. Thanks to the tank tracks, the turning circle is almost non-existent. Plus, even though it's super low to the ground, it can still traverse through rough terrain with ease. That said, there isn't any suspension system built into it, so the leather seat is definitely doing the heavy lifting for comfort. This supercar you're looking at right now is a real-life version of Bruce Wayne's Tumblr from the Dark Knight movies. Believe it or not, but this beast is completely street legal, so technically anyone could drive around in this car, if they have a driving license, that is. The coolest thing about this car is that every single part was actually built from scratch. That includes things like brakes, roll cages, and accelerators. Now that's some dedication. And that's a wrap for today. See you in the next one.